today we are going to be talking about how to search for scholarships in different schools and countries by yourselves as i promised in my last video one great man once said it's better to teach someone how to fish than give them a fish so today we are literally going to learn how to fish welcome or welcome back to my channel i am queen sparkles and i'm so delighted to see you on this channel we talk about education scholarships internships lifestyle travel and other diverse opportunities abroad so if any of those topics interests you hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications so that you can be notified every time i send out a video so there are two ways that you can effectively search for a scholarship one is when you know the specific course that you want to study and search out for schools in a country that you want to study from that offer that particular course and then search the scholarships within that school the second one is when you know nothing but you want a scholarship and you search out schools in a specific country, region by region, and see the courses they offer and the different scholarships available for those courses. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you on my PC and let's get right into it. So guys, as I told you, there are two ways to effectively search for a scholarship. And I'm going to start with the second one because it's kind of, you know, the hardest. And we are going to start with Canada. So you need to know how Canada is divided into different regions. And we'll start by searching for list of provinces in Canada. Canada is divided into provinces so there is alberta british columbia and all that yeah so you choose which province you want to study from for example you want to study from maybe ontario or british columbia okay let me i want to study from british columbia and you come on google and list of universities in british columbia yeah so these are the universities different universities in british columbia after reaching here you also choose which university you want to study from and you know search for scholarships on that particular university for example the most common one is the university of british columbia you come here and this is their official website it's ubc.ca yeah so when you come here you click on it yeah so you will be directed on this on this page their official page and you can either click on admissions or academics in most cases on all school websites the scholarships will be either found on admissions or academics but let's click academ admissions and you see yeah so there is undergraduate yeah you can see when i clicked on admissions here down there undergraduate programs and tuition here and here down there postgraduate programs so let's see tuition and scholarships of this university yes yeah, so as you can see here what will be your cost if you want to find out the costs you click here but for us today we are interested in different scholarships and awards so you can see scholarships for canadian students for us we are international students so we click on this one or let me open it in a new tab yeah so here you see there are different scholarships offered by the university of british columbia and yeah so here they tell you which scholarships are given there is international major entrance scholarship and this one it's a fully funded scholarship actually the deadline for it is january 15th so every year by january 15th you should have applied for this scholarship and also outstanding international student it's a one-time merit-based entrance award so this is for people like if you have uh high good grades from high school 
you can apply for this scholarship and it will be given to you the first time you enter the university yeah so here you can here you can read more but basically these are undergraduate scholarships at the university of british columbia yeah so uh there are other scholarships actually here mm. yeah they are showing us which scholars have obtained these scholarships so yeah about the international scholars program so these are different scholarships which are awarded at this university and actually all these are fully funded scholarships for undergraduates if you're coming from high school your and it's it's your first time entering this university you qualify for these scholarships but of course they all have different eligibility criteria so make sure that you check them out as you can see full tuition fee and all living expenses so you can check them out some are you know sports scholarships some are for specific subjects and i'm gonna leave this link in the description below so that you check them out yeah so let's see we can see here for graduates they also have scholarships but basically when you come on a school website just go to either admissions or academics and you will figure it out there you will see scholarships so let's maybe i want to study from simon fraser university yeah so you click on it and come to its official website in most cases the official websites of schools in canada will have dot ca so um here we see there is admission programs and everything though there is no academic so we click on admissions let me let me let me click on undergraduates for example if i want to study for undergraduates and here undergraduate studies yeah fees and scholarships and i click on this one you can check out different programs that they have I'm going to leave this link in the description box so you can really check it out here they are giving you tuition fee estimates and living allowance but here they are scholarships so there is simon fraser university undergraduate scholars entrance scholarship so uh you see if you are a current high school student who demonstrates excellence in academics and extracurricular activities you may be eligible for this scholarship so it's available for both domestic and international students so wherever you come from like i don't know any country you can apply for this scholarship the value is 10k canadian dollars to an amount sufficient to cover tuition and mandatory supplementary fees so they give you full tuition fees for this scholarship it doesn't matter which country you come from so you can apply for this scholarship but the application opens on october 1st 2021 so it will open this year also 2022 around the same time so if you want to apply to study in canada you should consider this university yeah so you can do the same thing for the i think there are also scholarships for graduate students here so you can check out this for uh, i'm leaving the link in the description box and so basically that's it for canada and if you want to study from a different province you also choose like for example here is our list of provinces it was the first one you choose like universities in list of universities in alberta and check it out so the second the second option is when you have a specific subject as i told you that you want to study and search for that for universities which offer that subject let's say i want to study computer science in canada let me see you you search for universities with computer science in canada so you click on it so they are giving you university of toronto and it has the best 
University of British Columbia we've we've already talked about it University of Waterloo so let's search for University of Waterloo it's it's known for good computer science yeah it's com University of Waterloo you search for University of Waterloo you can search for any other university from the list that they have given you so after knowing that you go to their official website remember the official websites always have like for canada.ca so you come here and accept all so there is here admissions i click on this one yeah and scholarships are most likely to be around here so let me go along with graduate undergraduates yeah so um, as you can see here they are giving us different programs you click here yeah so when you scroll down you will definitely find computer science here yeah. so computer engineering computer science it's here so after finding out that you can download the brochure to see different scholarships but let's search on this page let's go to finances when you come on a, a university you just need to navigate around until you find scholarships yeah so you know finances are similar to scholarships so you definitely find here like so um scholarships are here yeah so we see entrance scholarships undergraduates entrance scholarships so you want to study computer science and you have confirmed it on the university of waterloo and you searched out the university of waterloo so um as you can see i'm already on entrance scholarships here they say scholarships allow us to celebrate and recognize your achievements entrance scholarships are available if you are starting full-time first year degree studies and are beginning university or college for the first time so it's also for high school students why i'm deciding to do mostly undergraduates in the examples is that most students most scholarships out there they are for postgraduates and people are always asking for undergraduates so that's why i want to put much emphasis on it so as you you can see here there are different interest scholarships so you see down they give you their categories so if you have 95 per percent and above and you want to study from canada it's here the entrance scholarship is two thousand and international experience award they give you the eligibility criteria i think here there is a very yeah there is this one international student entrance scholarship it's a very good one you see the value is 10k canadian dollars and your admission has to be 90 percent and above available to international students admitted to first year of full-time undergraduate degree program so all the degree programs that we saw somewhere here like there are very many they do qualify for this scholarship where is it it has run away oh my god anyways yeah it's here so all the undergraduate students all the undergraduate programs they do qualify for this scholarship so that's how basically you can navigate around the the scholarship searching for canada and i think the video is gonna be too long so you should be a little bit patient because we still have china and usa and right now i'm going to china and so guys we are here and this is for china on how to search for scholarships in china i've already talked about canada so we are going to china yeah for china also it is divided into different provinces so you want to search out all those different provinces so you see list of provinces in china yeah it's here yeah as you can see we have Zhejiang, Guangdu, Hainan like we have different provinces in China and I'm in Shandong province Qingdao city yeah but for example if I want to study from Jiangsu province and I come here still on Google and search for list of universities 
in Jiangsu province. So after here, you see a lot of universities. China has like so many universities. So uh, for example, if I want to study also Jiangsu province, Jiangsu University, and I come here Jiangsu University. So for China, for Canada, you saw like they had the university website, they ended with .ca. So in China, in most cases, the official websites end with dot here as you can see dot cn dot edu dot cn most of them actually maybe not all of them when you scroll down you will see others like china admissions dot com like this they show you jiangsu university those are agents they are not the official website and also here you can see sh shang shanghai ranking dot com and jiangsu university yeah that's not the official website so if you are searching for official university website search out for you know this one maybe i should do a an official video on this yeah a full video sorry <laughs> anyways it can also be an official video so I am here on Jiangsu University and as you can see there is application and academics so if you up you the other time we clicked on admissions and it brought us scholarships and here if you click on academics you will see scholarships are here so you click on these scholarships you can also click on programs to see which programs are offered at this university you can search out you see programs for international students i know if you're watching this video you are an international student you click on bachelor's program master's program and also phd program we shall see those ones later yeah so let's just concentrate on scholarships for now and Jiangsu university offers many kinds of scholarships to international students Overseas Education College keeps the right to explain all scholarships and here they give you the link to all the scholarships available at their university. Yeah, there is the Chinese government scholarship. You can click on it and see its details. Uh, as you can see here, as I told you guys, you'll find all this information. No. <laughs> actually yeah you can search out the way i'm searching out and get all this information but i will leave some links in the description box of the universities that i've talked about yeah so there is category a, category b this is the one which most students apply directly to universities but it has only masters and phd but for category a when you apply through your embassy at home you have bachelor's masters and phd they tell you everything the deadline normally it was 31st march and the application procedure is here all the necessary requirements they give you basically everything and they give you the agency number so you don't need to suffer when all this information is out here and they tell you the duration of each of each program and everything when you scroll down they give you the application procedure which is detailed like visit this after go to this step three do this like they give you literally everything so make sure that you check it out if you want to study from Jiangsu university and here as i clicked here there are different courses which are offered in english or chinese agricultural engineering biology chemistry chemical engineering and technology computer science control science and engineering the electrical engineering all these ones are in english or chinese meaning you have to choose which language you want to study in either english or chinese mba they have literally very many scholarships and also for bachelors as you can see business administration mbbs corporate finance e-commerce accounting mechanical design everything you can scroll down and see yeah so we only looked at the chinese government scholarship let's go to another one for example you want to come to china to study chinese language for teachers there is a scholarship at Jiangsu university so um you come here and then they tell you international chinese language teachers scholarship its purpose is to satisfy the growing demand of the international community for chinese language teachers and you can read all this if you wish so 
the eligibility criteria is here you should be between 16 and 35 and you know everything is here and they give you how the scholarship is divided into different categories there is master of teaching chinese and they give you what you should have one year academic chinese one semester and the application procedure is also down here and they give you the deadline for each one of them so basically that is how you can get scholarships here and you can click on each one of these ones and see what they offer i think this is a good scholarship actually it is for, for master's students phd and bachelor's taught in chinese uh, not chinese english there is type a it gives you twenty five thousand, and they give you the eligibility criteria no these are beneficiaries yeah they are excellent Jiangsu university students blah 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 yeah so they give you type b like you can really check out all those all those you know scholarships yeah so i want to study for example if i'm searching for my province but yeah let me just continue with other provinces for example uh, this is still junk so yeah we have here other provinces if i want to study from if i am a province yeah and i come also to google list of universities in anhui province let's see anhui yep anhui university is the first one but this time around i don't think i'll choose it uh anhui normal university yeah let's try out this yeah uh, dot admissions dot cn i don't think this is uh you know yeah that's not it the the one is here the one for our uh, way no more university is here this one is just dot admissions dot cn but the official websites are normally dot edu dot cn so that's why and you can see it is the official website and here sometimes you find english or chinese you find us uh, i think here up to choose which language but for our way for the record abundant scholarship has chinese language scholarship international teachers chinese language scholarship and our way provincial government scholarship so these are the scholarships which are available at this university let me see here i can change the language to english for you guys to see clearly no that's not it yeah and i think the information on this website it's kind of yeah not up to date it's 2020 yeah oh my god let me scroll down here when you scroll down you will see actually their scholarships that they have yeah um mm, other majors all those are about majors you can click here if you want to see the majors that they offer and you know but we are interested for all we know in scholarships so they tell you here what you are required to do i see here for applying for csc please send your cv advisor recommendation letter your passport application or to this so this is like different universities have different ways to apply for scholarships so for this university you first need to send your documents to this email and yeah and just go on with other steps let me see other scholarships which yeah here there is a provincial scholarship and here they give you the application procedure yeah please fill in the information and upload the rele relevant materials yeah so basically and if you want to know more about good thing with when you go to the official university website 
you'll find like there is an email or a telephone which you can call and ask about sometimes they have a they have different you know application procedure and all you need to do is to call them and ask them like and for chinese people at least that what i know about them they pick so easily and they respond quickly even if you send them an email it will be so easy so same thing we talked about in canada when you want to study a specific you want to study a specific <laughs> a specific subject for example um which subject should i pick civil engineering list of universities with civil engineering here they are telling me our whole province yeah if you want you can search a specific province but i'm going to choose china the whole of it but of course there are a lot of universities with it yeah so in china so yeah there is tongji university xinhua university southeast university so all these are universities that you can choose you can even click here and go on and go on and go on but for what it's worth we are going for central thousand university that's what I, I have chosen you can choose any other university yeah so central south university yeah so its official website is here already up like you know it has dot edu dot cn when you see that just know this is an official website and as you can see here the display like you know it's all yeah it's official here international no research no international students sometimes if there is no academics or admissions click on international students people know that you know international students want scholarships so literally they will take you to the college of international education of that university mm. yep scholarships are also here when you click down so let me click when you you scroll down so let me click them yeah oh but also he here also they give you scholarships on or when you click on international students there is admissions and then scholarships so same thing you can just navigate around all the things so easily very easily here there are different scholarships for there is csc scholarship you click on it and then bilateral csc this one is for boy undergraduates and you know post graduates and the university program csc scholarship is only for post graduates there is also the university scholarship and if you want to study uh which civil engineering uh on bachelors you are most likely in english to get the university scholarship because the bilateral program is mostly for people who study in chinese yeah so these are common appli application questions for international students you can click on it and see how they have answered them really because they will give you an insight how can i apply for china csu yeah central Ch south yeah central south university can i find application they tell you the answers like i'm applying for csu why are why are some majors available on the csu website but not on cs csu website so they give you like you know the university program and bilateral program like they they give you different answers so that's the csc scholarship let's see the university scholarship it's most likely to accommodate bachelor's students of course they have they are here bachelor's four to five years in undergraduate programs they are here it's a pdf i yeah it, it's going to download these are the the those are the programs which are support supported so this is the eligibility criteria for this scholarship and the most important part of course is the scholarship type and coverage 
full scholarship, coverage of tuition fee on campus, accommodation, medical insurance, and monthly stipend. Wow, I didn't know this university had like a full scholarship, a university scholarship which is full. But yeah, we found out. And then partial scholarship for university, it covers tuition fee, accommodation, medical insurances. Basically, here all you need to have for this scholarship, oh my god, it's a good one actually. All you need to have is the the monthly stipend for yourself. You need to tell your parents if you don't have it, like you know, they they have only to give you stipend and all other things, even the partial scholarship covers your tuition fee, accommodation, and everything. The only difference is the monthly stipend. So it's I think it's really a good, you know, a good scholarship. These are the application materials and from now to june 15th we have a lot of of time for you to apply for this scholarship maybe i should even do a video on you guys on how to apply for this scholarship because i think it's really good C central south university yeah so let's check out the subjects that they offer there, these are chinese chinese let me see if they have english wow the bachelor's students are all in chinese let's check out this these these are still undergraduates yeah i want to see for masters but yeah you can really check it out i think it's really a good scholarship and also you can check out this scholarship application like there i think there are really many scholarships at this university master's degree and everything there is also international chinese teachers language scholarship you can really yeah i navigate around so easily about these scholarships yeah i think this is pretty much it for these scholarships in china and i can make another detailed video about china only usa only Canada. so guys that's pretty much it for today's video and if you have found value in this video hit the subscribe button turn on your notification so that you can be notified every time i send out a video and by the way we have a blissful series on this channel and soon i'm gonna be sending out different scholarships and how to apply for them so just keep your notifications on so that you can be notified and as always i love you so much god loves you he has plans for you to prosper you and not to harm you to give you a future and an expected end so just keep trusting him and never give up keep shining Keep winning. See you in my next video.